Welcome to another update of the build for this uh, 737 Android home cockpit. Uh, I pro as I promised, I went ahead and put together a test uh, screen for the projector. So if you remember, if you looked at any of my previous videos, uh, you would see that I have three monitors in front of my uh, in front of my cockpit, basically right here. Uh, now I've removed them and I've built a, a screen and added a projector. So it's a single projector. I mean the room is already small for one projector, uh, never mind three. But I think that as a test it came out pretty good, pretty happy with it. Uh, however, having said that, there are already some changes that I'm going to make. Uh, this, like I said, was a test. I need to make it a little bit bigger. Starting with this side here. And as you can see, I've already started building. You see the base here. Uh, here it's, it comes a little bit out of the screen. I think that uh, if I'm not mistaken this is about nine centimeters bigger so that you can you can see the light of the projector where it where it reaches to so I want to cover that part too uh, and it's going to be higher it will touch the the ceiling and then move across not all the way up but until right that corner there because the height from the top to the existing bottom has to remain the same that's already the good height that's how from from where the projector is based that's how i, I need to have if i move uh, the projector further back to say let's to let's say to get a higher visual then it also gets wider and i just don't have the room to make it wider on the left side on the right side of the cockpit it is much wider as you can see i think uh this is about 35 centimeters extra. Um, again, it's going to go from this point here up to touching the ceiling and then it's going to meet that corner right there. So the, the screen will be bigger. The cockpit itself will move a little bit more on the right side. Uh, to eventually be right in the middle of the screen. Unfortunately, this room is just very weirdly done and built, but what can we do? We work with what we have. So guys, uh, stick around and you'll see a little bit of how I've built this screen and how I've managed to, uh, to install the projector on the ceiling. Okay, now that we have the measures of uh, how high our ceiling is and unfortunately in my case the angles since uh, I'm kind of under the under the roof kind of room uh, we need to figure out how big the projector screen is going to be so we can go to this uh, website it's called uh, projectorcentral.com and you'll find the uh, projector that you have in my case is this uh, BNQ MP72 ST for short throw and we'll need to put some information you can go two ways at this depending on, on what you actually want to achieve you can either say okay I want to put my uh, or I can only put my projector at X distance from the screen uh, in which case you'll select the distance your uh, projector to the screen as you can see 
automatically it changes this information here which is the height of the screen uh, the, the dimension that the diagonal dimension of the screen and the width of your screen or on the other side what you can do also is uh, uh, you can say assuming that you have a room where you can put uh, let's say your projector anywhere you want if it's just for displaying a movie on a wall um, you say uh, I want to have my projector I, I want to have my screen uh, this sizes uh, you use this slider uh, at the bottom uh, and that will tell you how far you need to install your projector from the screen now for this exercise uh, today for my own personal use uh, I kind of need to do a little bit of both so I know roughly how, how far can I mount the projector on the ceiling and I say roughly is because I can't go way too far otherwise what happens is that the the cockpit shape uh, that uh, that I'm going to be building later might act as a, as a, some kind of obstacle for the projection uh, making then shadows on the screen and we don't want that so the screen the projector needs to be mounted let's say pretty close to the screen but then at a safe distance that gives it gives me a decent size screen so I've taken the measures of all my of the ceiling of the height of the room uh, and I know that my uh, I know that my MIP is about 101 point one meter and 60 centimeters so I do want the screen to cover all that distance uh, so first of all let me check change everything in centimeters which is how I work here in Europe in Europe now I want to look at this number here right now is 262 I'm going to look for something between 160 and 180 uh, and while I do that I also look at the top slider the top slider I want to try and not go further from the screen than let's say 105 106 centimeters in this case is actually pretty good the size of the screen will be uh, will be 184 centimeters and the height 115 centimeters now another measure I took that I would like for this to be I want the height of the screen to be around 180 centimeters so let's say I go I do that the width of the screen will be nearly 100 centimeters and the screen the 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 projector is needs to be at 92 centimeters away from the uh, the projector needs to be at 92 centimeters from the screen which gives me even more room to play with uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'll move my screen to let's say there we go 98 centimeters from the screen that will give me a 2 meter wide screen which is I think really great uh, 126 centimeters high which is more than a more than I need and a di diagonal view which in my case because of the shape of the screen doesn't really matter so it's a 238 centimeters so all we have to do now is take a note of this information and we can uh, start building our screen we'll build the frame using wood and then we'll put we'll start with putting a, a a white bed sheet around the frame just to do some testing if I'm happy with it I perhaps uh, replace that with uh, some real tech uh, some real material for a uh, for a projector projector screens the wooden frame itself was not that difficult to build I use some uh, leftover theme framing wood I already had and after having taken all of the measures uh, it was just a question of screwing it all together uh, I took a sheet and placed it on the floor uh, a quick tip here make sure you iron it first I decided to quickly cut the excess however I suggest you wait to do that in case you place the frame the wrong way around and you need to start again with a stapler gun I started to fold uh, the cloth around the frame and put staples all around
Now I build a gadget to hang the screen on the existing post inside the room. Nothing too complex, just an L-shaped thing with two triangles added on each side for a more strength. Uh, I use glue, I pre-drill the holes to avoid splitting the wood and I countersink them to make sure that the head of the screw will not be in the way when I hang this thing on the pillar. Tap to touch the projector to the ceiling. I could have gone out and bought a real projector mount, but those things can cost 100 euro. Instead, I decided to build one myself with a scrap piece of MDF. First, I took the exterior measures of the projector and then designed it quickly on SketchUp. Then, using another program called Big Picture, I printed it to real size. This is a program, a great program, because it allows you to print something on multiple sheets which you can then glue them together on the piece of wood and cut shapes or make holes precisely where you need them. I needed to remove one of the lamps from under the ceiling to place the panel. I first covered the hole with a sheet of paper, then placed the MDF board on top of it, making sure it would match with the pre-made line I drew earlier. With a pencil I marked where each hole needs to be done. Using a vacuum cleaner to suck the dust while drilling, I made all the holes. The width of the panel making the ceiling is around 12mm, so I use special plugs that, when pushed in, get open and act as hooks. I then attached the MDF plate to the projector and screwed everything to the ceiling. 